Well, hello motorcycle fans, it's me, how you doing? I hope everybody's groovy, look at the weather, we've got summer, we've had a few days of it and we've got a few more days to go. Woohoo! Well, it has been a crabby year. We've had a wet winter, we've had a wet summer so far, and spring really. But anyway, no good moaning, we're all good now, aren't we? Anyway, it's about a year since I started vlogging sort of properly. I think it was the latter part of June, the start of July. I did um, my first vlogs, which I suppose you can call vlogs, and I actually spoke on them. I was having sort of audio trouble. Um, so, music and all that sort of stuff. And then... Um, I did a ride up to Lincoln on the Drifter, I think it was the first first vlog, proper one, with good sound, good picture. And um, yeah, it was about a, about a year ago now. So where did that year go? But what what a journey. I mean I've just met some absolutely fantastic people. Got some new mates. We've all got the keen interest in biking. So that's good. And we get together and do ride outs when we can. And it's just fantastic. And I feel very privileged and honoured to, to know these people. I really do. Um, my subscription Although I'm not a subscription hunter, like some people can be, uh, it's nice that it's gradually going up and I really appreciate that. I do a lot of my Facebooking and YouTube watching and all the rest of it on my iPhone and I can't reply, it won't allow me to reply to any new subscribers, so uh, for the last well, since I've had it, I've, I just cannot reply unless I do it through my, my laptop and I only use that for editing, really. So, just say it now, thank you for all those that have subscribed recently and in the past. I do, do really appreciate it. Thank you. So, I say about a year on. I'm going to work today on the Grom. Uh, this time last year it would have been on the Drifter. Um, do I miss the Drifter? I suppose I miss it a little bit. I, I love the sound of it. it. It did sound very old style bike, sort of old British, old Indian styly. Because it wasn't a big, big capacity thing. You weren't stopping me. Um, so I do miss that about it, but um, the Victor is a, a superior cruiser, to be honest. But saying that, with my bad back at the moment, it's not something I can ride. It just stretches the base of my spine out a bit too much. So I'm finding this sort of riding position in the MT, for example, just absolutely perfect. Got to get my back fit for August. Because um, obviously we've got the... Um, the Donington uh, Park uh, VJMC meet and um, I shall be taking the TL. I was hoping at this stage to to have a van Oop. so I could take the, the ZXR on the Saturday and the TL probably on the Sunday. I could still do that but I'd have to ride them there and back so yeah I might still do that actually but I was hoping to take them both in the van but as I have got a van, <laughs> that would be a bit difficult, wouldn't it? So, there we go. Why have I taken the Grom instead of the MT? <laughs> you may ask. Uh, I don't know, on a, little, ooh, on a little bike, it's a bit more of an adventure, I guess. On a powerful bike, it's just easy, isn't it? So. We have to work for speed on a, on a little one. 
But no, it's a fun thing, it just uh, makes you smile, so. Well, I don't know what MPG I get out of the MT, but well, 40, or well, this is about 120. So. I do spend most of my life at petrol stations, and so I thought I might uh, try and reduce that a little. I do this journey twice a week to Newark where I work with my good friend Janine and um, this way is about 27 miles the A1 way, which I wouldn't do this on is a little bit farther but about the same time it, it takes about 30 minutes maybe a little bit more Hardly congested, is it? So, and you think, what a nice run to work in the morning, isn't it? If I'm not running out of fuel.